Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Redhead Goes Healthy, and this is uh, week six, weigh in. Okay, so we have made it. I have made it. We have made it. If you've been on the journey this whole time, then we have made it. Week six, it has been six weeks of me doing keto consistently. Every week, every week is a milestone for me because I think uh, the longest I've ever done anything, like I said before, it's about 30 days. So this is, uh, this is pretty, this is new territory for me. I'm really proud of myself and I'm proud of just the, um, the dedication and the commitment that I made to, to myself, you know, six weeks ago. And, and this is the halfway point, so I still have another six weeks before this challenge is uh, complete. But uh, no matter what, I, I feel just really happy that I was able to uh, kind of do this for so long. So uh, as promised, today is a, a weigh-in video. As I mentioned before, my plan for these 12 weeks is to basically weigh in every three weeks and the rest of the weeks will be measurements. So I will get to the weigh-in in a second. Just to review my week, how it went. Last time I told you guys that I was prepping for my 300th ride on Peloton and I am happy to say that I did it. It actually was a very intense ride. It was 75 minutes and it was, uh, for those of you who do Peloton, it was a power zone ride. So I really like those because you just kind of focus in on a particular output or zone based on your own personal fitness level. So every single person has a different output that they're outputting, I guess. But it's really awesome because it's very particular to your own fitness. And I love that about power zone ride. I had wanted Matt Wilpers, the coach of Peloton, the one that I have a huge crush on. I wanted him to shout me out. I did. Um, my username on Peloton, I realized might be a little bit tough to pronounce, so I did not get a shout out. Uh, as I was starting out on the ride, he was giving shout outs to other people, other people who had reached like 3,000 rides. 1500 rides and when I heard that I, I thought to myself like okay well 300 I guess is not that impressive uh, I'm still proud of myself but it's not nearly as impressive as 3000 so I am fine with that I didn't get a shout out but I, I still did it and you know what I'm not gonna give up every time I reach one of those milestones right like let's say maybe my 400th ride my 500th ride my thousandth 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 that's hard to do 400th, 3,000th, 3,000th. Anyways, there's gonna be more rides to come and I will keep hoping that one day, one day, Matt Wolpers will, will, will uh, shout my name out. Okay, so aside from all that, I did a pretty good job keeping track again with my, so I said last time, just to show you guys, I decided to do like food, carb, calorie. Just to get a sense, again, uh, a sense of kind of how much, how many calories am I consuming? Am I in a calorie deficit? Because um, calorie deficit is still, I think, the the king. It's it's still the way to really um, focus on weight loss. And when I do keto, I usually pay less attention to the calories because I don't really eat as much as I normally would. I can eat a whole bag of potato chips, but I cannot eat more than one piece of turkey like I, or like a piece of chicken like I will not overeat on chicken it's just it won't happen so that's I think why a lot of people decide not to even bother with the calories because it's like well you're just probably most likely eating less anyways so um I, yeah every day I made sure to uh, I measure the to make sure I'm in I'm in ketosis and I I have been um I my go-to snack at night is kale so I will put some kale in my air fryer and put some olive oil on it and it, it's just delicious it, it kind of for me replaces the crunch of a potato chip nothing is like a potato chip though so there no there's no alternative to potatoes there's just not I mean, it might be because I'm Irish but I adore potatoes and that has been the hardest thing about doing keto and that that is the that is the carb that I'm going to work 
at reintegrating into my life. Maybe not in the form of potato chips, but I want to uh, reintroduce carbs into my life uh, gradually after the 12 weeks and just see how it impacts my body. See how it impacts my, my mood, um, not just my weight, but just like how am I actually feeling when I now, you know, put some carbs back into my system. And I'm talking like yellow potatoes, no sweet potatoes. I hate sweet potatoes. I just can't stand it. Don't even suggest that to me. It's not going to happen. Okay. So, uh, yeah, every day I did a workout on my Peloton bike, even after I hit the 300 rides. So the workouts became like uh, 20 minute rides, 30 minute rides. Uh, and yeah, I, I did pretty well. I, I did pretty well. So my way in today, here are the numbers, what you've been waiting for. The numbers are, so three weeks ago, I weighed in at 187.4 and that was a loss of, I think that was 3.2 pounds if I'm doing the math correctly. And today I weighed in at 184.3. So that is a grand total of 6.3 pounds lost. Yay! Woohoo! Now, that basically means I have lost about a pound each week because it's been six weeks. And I am, I'm, I'm kind of trying to be okay with the... <laughs> Like how how slow that feels, and and it feels like okay. I know that I know that I could accelerate it if I wanted to. I could really try to reduce the amount of calories that I'm consuming. Um, I can eat less. I can work out more. But at the same time, I think I'm okay with the slow and steady weight loss. And if I can manage to lose another six pounds at the end of the twelve weeks to have a total of 12, let's say 12 to 15 pounds, that will put me right back where I basically kind of started when I started this YouTube channel. So I, I believe I, I might have to watch the first video on my channel. I believe that I started at um, 177. So I want to be able to say that at least I'm in the 170s again after this. But I also don't want to be so attached to the number. Like, as you guys know, being attached to a number is never a good thing. And, and I feel like my body is carrying weight differently, as I talked about in the last video, especially when you do, um, like cycling is cardio, but there's a, there's a lot of hill climbing in Peloton. So there is a lot of muscle that is, that's in my leg right now. And then, which I love like that. I absolutely love that, but it means that the number on the scale um, you know, it may not be in the 170s, but I might look like I used to look, if that makes any sense. Like my body composition might be different, but the number on the scale might be, you know, a bit heavier. So yeah, um, I, I guess that's about it. Uh, today is a, um, a beautiful day. So I think I'm going to go outside for a walk, maybe listen to a podcast and, um, get my walk in and, uh, maybe do another Peloton ride after the, after the walk, but I hope that everybody else is uh, going to have an amazing Easter if you celebrate Easter um, and that you all are, you know, doing uh, what you set out to do with your goals. Um, I will see you guys next week for a measurement video. Bye.